Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and today I am going to be going through my bronzer collection with you. I have done a few overall makeup collection videos in the past but I thought we could take a deeper dive into my collection and so I wanted to start out with bronzers because I know this can be a bit of a tricky category for fair skin. I don't have an overly excessive makeup collection but it's not small either so if you're excited to see what I've got stashed in these drawers then make sure you give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching. All right so here we are at my Alex drawers and in here are my bronzers and my face powders. If you're wondering my acrylic organizers are from Vanity Collection so I will link those in the description box below. First up I have this L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronzit bronzer and this is in the shade Light Claire. Now this bronzer was sent to me by a subscriber so I don't think you can actually get it here in Australia but it is a really beautiful bronzer. It has a very cool undertone and quite a sheen to it. So it gives a beautiful, healthy glow to the skin and also slightly contours because it is more cool toned. Next, I have this Makeup Revolution bronzer and this is called the Ultra Bronze. As you can tell, this is quite old and well loved. I actually started using this more as an eyeshadow for every day. It is a nice bronzer, matte finish, not too orange. As you can see, it is a lot warmer than the L'Oreal one. It's not my first choice for bronzer on my face, but it's pretty good. Next is this Essence Contouring Duo Palette, and this is in the shade <laughs> 10 Lighter Skin. And so this comes with a very fair bronzer and then more of a deeper bronzer. These shades are friggin' amazing for fair skin and I am so impressed with the formula of these. For such an affordable product, the formula is smooth, it blends really easily. And although this does look really light, I like to mix the both of them together and it's a really beautiful combo for fair skin. I would definitely recommend this one. Up the back here, I have my NARS Laguna bronzer and this is absolutely trashed. The packaging is like sticky. It's so old, but I don't want to throw it out because look how close I am to finishing it. Like, come on. When I first got into makeup, this bronzer was all the rage. I thought it would be a bit too deep for my skin tone, but it's actually quite nice and it leaves a really beautiful sheen. So I should really try and finish this one up because the packaging is just filthy and I need to wash my hands now. The next bronzer is one of my absolute favorites and it is the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in the shade Barley Sands. I am almost finished this. Like, would you look at that? That is the best effort I think I've ever made on a product. Come on. I already have another one of these in my cupboard ready to go because this bronzer is just, it's beautiful, okay? It is the perfect shade for fair skin and it also has a sheen, but it's not glittery or chunky. It's just this beautiful, beautiful glow it gives to the skin. Whenever I am doing glam makeup, I always go for this bronzer. It is quite expensive. It's around the $60 mark, but definitely, definitely worth it. Next, I have my Fenty bronzers. So first up is the powder bronzer in the shade Indus Sun. This is a great shade for fair skin, especially if you're new to bronzing. Because it's so fair, you can really build it up and play around with it without going overboard. And it can be scary thinking that you're gonna go overboard and it's not going to look nice. This is the perfect bronzer for beginners. It is up there in price if you are a beginner, but I would absolutely recommend it. It is absolutely beautiful. I don't know if I said, but it has a matte finish and it is really easy to work with. And then we have the Fenty Cream Bronzer, and this is in the shade Butter Biscuit. I have seen quite a variety of skin tones use this shade, and for fair skin, it works really well. Now this is, I think it's the only cream bronzer I really own, and I friggin' love it. It's really easy to work with. The cream blends beautifully on top of your makeup and it just looks so natural on the skin. If you are wanting to try a cream bronzer for the first time, again, I know this is 
a bit of a pricey one to try out, but it is so worth it. This is something I would definitely repurchase and I can see myself actually finishing this up. Next is the Benefit Hula Light Bronzer. And this is also friggin' amazing and great for beginners because it is a super fair shade, not too orange, it's quite neutral. And again, it's really buildable, so it's very easy to work with if you're new to bronzing. I'm not a big fan of the packaging on the Benefit boxed products. I feel like it can feel quite cheap for quite an expensive product, but the formula on the inside is great and I would definitely recommend this bronzer. So next I have the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And I'm pretty sure this is the old packaging. Along with the NARS bronzer, this was one of the first into my collection. And I picked it up because at the time it was really the only bronzer that really catered to super fair skin. Now, would I repurchase this? Probably not. I don't really like the chocolatey scent. I don't see why a bronzer needs to have a scent, but it does. The shade is nice. It's a little orange. Quite a dry formula, so I don't know. I just think there are better ones out there than this. I also have a little sample here of the darker shade. This is medium deep. Let me just compare them for you. As you can see, this one does look a bit more warm. So it's not that great for my fair skin. I don't even know where I got that, to be honest. And then lastly for high end, I have this, oh, what would you call Napoleon Purtis high end now? Because it is sold in Priceline. I don't know, but this is the matte bronze bronzer. And this was the first bronzer I ever purchased. And I remember being so friggin' terrified to use it. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna look like a Oompa Loompa. But it is a really beautiful shade for fair skin. Pretty basic bronzer, really. It's matte. It does what it needs to do. It's nothing outstanding. I don't really use it, but it's kind of sentimental because it was the first bronzer I ever purchased. So it stays in here. Next, I have these Get Glowing Bronzers by Designer Brands. This one here is the shade Barcelona Bronze. It's a matte formula. It's a super, super light shade. So perfect for fair skin. Sorry, the focus keeps going out because I'm moving a lot. Keep up camera. I do have a full review on this bronzer, so I will link it down below. Actually, any of the bronzers that I have full reviews on, I will link down below for you. For an affordable bronzer, this is great. It's one of the best shades for fair skin. And if you're new to bronzing, I would recommend this one because it's really easy to work with, it's buildable. I feel like I'm repeating myself here, but you get the gist. If you're new to bronzing and you want a drugstore option as opposed to high-end, I would recommend this one. Designer Brands is an Australian brand though, so if you're overseas, you won't be able to find that. And then this here is the shade Miami Heat, and this one has a shimmer in it. A bit of a gold glitter there. So I only use a small amount of this over the top if I want a bit more of a glowy look, as this is a deeper shade. How beautiful is the print in the bronzer though? Next, I have the City Bronzer by Maybelline and I have the shade Light Cool 100. This, I have a real love-hate relationship with. The formula of this is amazing. It's matte, but it's creamy. Like it doesn't have that real dry feeling that some bronzers have, like the Too Faced chocolate bronzer for example but unfortunately this shade pulls really orange once it's on my skin so in the pan it looks great but once i apply it it looks orange and too warm i don't know what's up with that so i don't know i see a lot of people leave comments on my videos saying they love this bronzer so i think you just have to try it out and see how it goes what I do like about this bronzer though is that it does come in a variety of shades. I think there are four to choose from depending on your undertone and how deep your skin is. So that is a really great option for the drugstore. Then I have the Rimmel Sun Shimmer Bronzer. This I haven't used in a while, but I'm pretty sure I liked it. 
it does have a bit of a sheen to it, which I think that's what I really love in a bronzer when it does give you that more of a glowy look. So this was a nice option from the drugstore. I would prefer this over the Maybelline one because the shade just suits me better. Next, we have the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, and this is in light bronzer. This, I feel like, was just raved and raved about back in the day. This shade also can pull a little bit orange on me, but the formula of this, oh my goodness, it is the creamiest matte bronzer ever. Like, it is so soft and smooth to touch. Oh my god. It doesn't feel chalky at all. It's a really, really nice formula, but again, the color just is a little bit off. And this packaging is friggin' disgusting too. It's ugly. Next, I have this Sculpt Glow from Folklore Beauty. And this actually comes with a contour and a highlight. This shade, although it is marketed as a contour, is a really beautiful bronzer for fair skin. As you can see, it's quite cool undertoned. This is also another one I love to use for eyeshadow. You can see that big dent I've got in the middle there because I use it as an everyday eyeshadow. If you happen to be shopping on the Folklore website, I would recommend giving it a go. The highlighter is not nice but it's probably worth it just for this bronzer shade. It's really beautiful for fair skin and easy to work with. Next, I have the L'Oreal Back to Bronze Bronzer. I have another one here. This one is in thinner packaging and this one's thicker. The thinner ones are way nicer. This one I think comes with a little brush underneath, which like why? I don't need that, okay? But anyway, this is the Back to Bronze Bronzer and I absolutely love this. I think this would have to be my favorite drugstore bronzer. I feel like it looks quite warm in the pan, but on the skin, it is just perfect. It gives the right amount of warmth without looking orange. And it does say it's a matte formula, but I feel like it's more of a soft matte. I still get a bit of a sheen from this bronzer. It just leaves a really beautiful, healthy glow. And this one would be my number one pick from the drugstore. Next, I have this Models Own bronzer in the shade Deep Tan. Models Own was at Priceline for a while and then it wasn't. So I'm not really sure about this one. I haven't used it in a while. It looks very dark. I don't know. I don't have much to say about that one. <laughs> Here I have the ColourPop Pressed Oh, that's a highlighter. Oh, what? No, it's not. Huh? <laughs> I think they just use the same packaging for both. But anyway, this is the ColourPop Pressed Powder Bronzer in the shade Private Party. This is what it looks like here. I rarely reach for this, like hardly ever. As you can see, it's quite dark. So I don't know if that would really work for my skin tone anyway. It's matte. Look, if I'm not reaching for it often, it means it's not that great. So you can just go back here. Oh, I actually have another one here from the drugstore. This one is newer to my collection. It's the Models Prefer Natural Glow Bronzer in the shade Sunlit. This is what it looks like. I really enjoyed this. It's very cool toned. So again, it gives you that nice kind of contoured shaped look to your face, but while also bronzing. It does look like it's got a lot of glitter in it, but it doesn't look chunky on the face at all. It gives a really nice glow. This is a winner for me. I really, really enjoyed this bronzer. And then lastly for bronzer, I have another one from ColourPop. This is the Super Shock Cheek in Paradise Cove. I haven't used this in ages, but it looks really nice. It's got a bit of a sheen to it. Can you see that in there? These are like cream to powder. They're a very interesting texture. I think I might have to dip back into this because that shade looks really beautiful and I think it'd work well on my fair skin. Isn't it amazing what you find in your makeup drawer when you have a look? <laughs> Next, I have some contouring products. So with these products, they are very, very cool toned. And what that does is creates a shadow. A lot of people get mixed up with bronzing and contouring, but if you really want to sculpt the face, you go in with a contouring product and on fair skin, that looks something like these shades here. 
So they're very cool tone. They kind of almost have a gray cast to them. This one here is an eyeshadow and it's by Illamasqua. I've had this in my collection for so long. It is the perfect shade for contouring if you want to sculpt your face. Again, quite expensive because it is a high-end product. But then we have this one here by Rimmel. This is also an eyeshadow and the back has ripped off, but I'm pretty sure it's in the shade all about the base. Again, a very cool toned shade. It is a matte formula and it just works beautifully for contouring on fair skin. If you were to go into Priceline and have a look at contouring products, you'll notice that a lot of them are still very warm and that just doesn't work when you're fair like me. So next on the list, I have this product by NYX. It's actually a blush. It's in the shade taupe and this is very, very, very cool. So if I compare it to the Rimmel here, you can see the difference there. This one you have to go in with like the lightest hand and be very, very careful. And then one of my absolute favorite products for contouring is this MAC blush and it's in the shade Cosmic Force. This has a cool undertone, but it's more light. If I compare it to the Rimmel, you see it's a much lighter shade, but it still gives you that same contoured, chiseled effect. It is a beautiful product. It has a bit of a sheen to it, so it doesn't look too harsh on the skin, which is what I really love about this. Out of these contouring products here, the one I would recommend the most is the MAC, and if you're on a budget, then go for the Rimmel. And then I've got a few cream products on the side here, starting with the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Face Duo. This has a concealer and a contouring shade. You only need a little bit. It blends really beautifully into the skin. I really like this product. And then here I have the ColourPop Sculpting Stick. This is in the shade Dove. I haven't used this for a while. This one is a bit more cool tone than the NYX. So you're going to get a very chiseled look. It's actually really creamy. To apply this, I would put it on the back of my hand and then dip my brush into it instead of actually putting it directly on my face. Then I have these Rimmel Insta Duo Contour Sticks. One side has a highlighter and one side has, it says it's a contour, but you'll see how warm these are in comparison to these two shades. So the first one here is light and this one is medium. So here is a perfect example of what I was talking about before when you go into store for a contouring product and this is the color. Like look how warm they are. That is our bronzer. This is way too warm for me. I don't know why I even have that. <laughs> but see the difference between these cool undertones and these warm undertones? And then next I have this L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer in the shade 331 Latte. Now I like to use this for a cream bronzer. It is a very fair shade. So I like to use it when I'm doing minimal makeup looks. That is the shade there. And to a lot of people that just looks like, you know, a regular skin tone. But for me, I'm actually able to use that to warm up my face a bit and add some color. Now jumping back to the bronzers, I just want to get out my top picks because I know this was a lot of information and it all sounds quite similar. So let me pull out my favorites to show you. Definitely the Becca. This is my holy grail. Friggin' love it. Next, I've got the Fenty bronzers, the cream and the powder. These are bloody amazing. And then, as I said, my favorite drugstore option is the L'Oreal Back to Bronze. All right, well, that is it for my bronzer collection. Make sure you leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite bronzer is and also what kind of collection video you'd like to see next. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to catch more videos and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.